Yeah. Go back in here, give you bunch motherfucking bunch of trouble. change clothes in this dude's front yard. Who the fuck said that? What the hell? I just got this shirt. I've been covered in worse, friend. Of all the days. Oh, come now. A hidden face implies a darkness beneath it. Hmm, sure, I'll take a look. Dude ain't gonna pay me nothing. I will admit, some of the neighbors do not possess the funds to shop in my store. It can be discouraging. You look very scary with your face covered. Didn't even have no money. Come hang up. <laughs> Dog, I won't move. I won't stop till you're dead. Please, oh my God! Keep oh, going. Somebody hit this fool! Run away, buddy! Come on, ain't gonna kill himself. Do that, my folks. Push in. What the fuck? Get him!
Nothing but goddamn errand boys! Whoa, please. <laughs> Let's go, boy! Got a bounty and road. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Oh, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from wow. around here. If I was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. A bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Just heard they have over 1,200 signatures to remove the governor. Yeah, seem to recall hearing mention of that myself. Now what you got go your outside. gun on Chuck for? Take off the oh. Man. Give me everything you got. Down. Quick. Ah shit.
Burn and burn. This ain't your day, pal! Two twenty five here, god damn. Yeah. messing with things here. Calm down. I think you've overstayed you welcome. I need your you money. any money. Dude didn't have no money. I'm gonna take his food. Overstay my welcome, I'll kill all your fucking animals, kill you, take your food, and kill your animals. I'm gonna take his horse too.
Easy, boy. Gotta be done. Might not be able to hang on. I think I gotta hog time first. I think I've had a hog time first. Okay, then. Ah, okay. I think he's hung. Boy, near enough. Yeah. Well, that's not true. I do know why. They're lazy, good-for-nothing brats. Every last one of them. They're whores with ideas miles above their station. I mean, in my day, it just didn't happen. Talk back to a madam? <laughs> I'd have been horsewhipped. And I was. Oh, I was horsewhipped. And I'm grateful. Oh, I wish Dutch had let me whip Fuck, some they of them pathetic the shit out branches of her. into shape. They need it. Oh, so help me God, they need it. I mean, it's bad now, but it's only gonna get worse. It's ridiculous. It's got ridiculous. I mean, there's simply no respect for their betters. Hey, Bish, get back here. Ah, I ain't gonna greet her. All right. Hello, Arthur. Uncle. Arthur? This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Very good, we were getting low. Thank you, Arthur. If you're struggling for space in your satchel, just bring me the right materials and I'll work something oh. up for you. 
Looks great, Pearson. You know what? Uh, I don't know what mod it was that did it for a penny, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and do it. I just heard that Adler woman wants to cut your dick off and feed it to her horse. Oh, God, here we go again. I told her it wouldn't make much of a meal. Will you leave me be? I wouldn't sleep too deep if I was you. Just kill me if you're gonna. There he is. Hey, Morgan. There he is. What is it, Arthur? <sighs> Feels like we're back on track, more or less. Yep, money and food. Now everyone needs to keep it coming. For sure. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Oh, uh, I guess you're right. Oh, fuck. Oops. Yeah, hey, good gee. boy. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Let's get this Let's on right, boy. On Let's go. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Are you going to mount up? Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. 
and Davey was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, that's it, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. You're all right, boy. All right, boy. Stables are just up ahead. No meal is complete if it don't got meat. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new a horse. horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. Well, I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. I think I need some glue. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But... Your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. See if I can get a better looking saddle. Huh? Ah. I think I take that one. Oh god, 140. Okay, fuck it, I'm gonna keep that one, I guess. spend the money on this though. <laughs> All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that.
Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Hold! You won't know till you get in the saddle. Are you gonna mount that new horse of yours or not? All right, let's get going. You got quite, huh? You got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. Yeah, a goddamn motherfucking year. Many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike? I don't know. He's effective in his own way. And Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Well, yeah, shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one. The cook. Oh, try. Yeah, I got at least one of them for sure. Well, go get it before a fox makes out with it. All right. It's a big ass rabbit. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well then you get a set up. Just gonna stand here with my rabbit. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> well, I guess we're just gonna look at his back. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. 
Okay. <sighs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. Take a peek. Yeah, that's what I thought. He better be worth all this drama. Seven AM it is. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope fish. you know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, grab your... Go. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Yeah, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones. And sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. There's something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. There's 
Something else on the ground, just here. Air shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. You say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You know what? I ain't gonna fuck with him. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Jose gonna get his cell fucking mauled. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. All right, you Thank better you. bet your sweet butt. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> All right. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. Whoa. Let's see what we got. Ain't close. I just... Let's go, girl. I swear to God, I heard it. Close. Ugh. 
that's gonna lead up to a cave where where he's just like chilling at. trail go there is asses There's a trapper there. Yep. Go check out what this uh this outfit looks like. Easy, easy. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> oh. My bad, dog. My bad. Well, that sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Give it some razzle-dazzle to it, bud. Something. Mm, anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. I'm being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo-hee, I got some gold. <laughs> Look at this, baby. You got some gold. <laughs> I got some gold.
Yeah. Move! right to your stable. Ah! Okay, let's take a look at it. Boy, the things I can make with this. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work. Well, Thanks sir, for your assistance. Order. No choice of... Quite impossible. Done yet, girl. Yeah. So up now. Shotgun shells. Uh, 
it. All right, girl. You ain't dead yet. The hell's got you bent out of shape. Help me! This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> All right, let's go. This what you want? Well, I'll kill you again in hell, my friend. Tell Mildred. <sighs> well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Yep. Not gonna lie, that felt like a setup at first. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new yep. line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband. Well. It's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Yeah. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now yeah. I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir.
Yeah. God, I hope I don't have a bounty in Valentine. a little further. The fuck are you and why are you just spanning in the street? Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Say no, probably not. You either ugly or stupid. Now take that mask off. It's all good. No. Calm down. I guess you're more pumped than wolf, huh? have no masks here, all right? Man. Fuck it, 50 cents. We'll see. Take it, please. Right then, just head inside the tent. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young but the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there one summer a bear was by the stream an old man wind appeared and said bear I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den then sleep not for one night but for 60, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle Oof. said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad, but he was a good bear. Leaving early, I hope everything was okay. He went and found a den, snuggled inside and... No, not me! Disturbing the peace, not, not fucking murdering him, just disturbing the peace.
should do us. Just wait a second, girl. Could it just be for the dust? Let's go, girl. Come on, try and help people. I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... <coughs> use your strength to help the weak. How about you, sir? Sir? Will you help? You're just a pathetic do-gooder. Hello, sir. You get a lot of money doing this? Not much, but it's the trying that counts. If you say so. Well, I do. And who do you help? I'll so. help you learn to keep your mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. <clears throat> Come on, please. Please, so... Be generous. Show you can... Oh, you're fucking lucky, punk. Come on, girl. You're fucking lucky, punk. Ah. Oh. That's a shame. New marksman in town. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Yours now. Good, good.
post all of my fucking money. You need anything else, let me know. Thank you for your help. That's not law. Back for some more provisions? Got everything you need. Have a look. Let's have a look here. Uh-huh. Bye. Thanks, partner. Moonshine shack, isn't it? Easy. Yep. Sounds like an angry ass bear somewhere.
Easy then. Was not expecting to run across that. The little nubs. It left the bear with nubs. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Whoa, easy. Hmm. Here, another angry bear. Son of a bitch! Good at it because it seems like you're not. Ah! Oh. Maybe I'm not. <clears throat>
let's try this a different way. Damn. 